Yeah, so hi everyone. Uh, good afternoon. So today we will be uh, understanding uh, a new framework that is Ionic. So we will be going through uh, integration of this framework in Angular today and uh, um, how we can use these components in our application. Is anyone there who has worked on Ionic previously? Okay, I'll take that as a no. So, okay, so let us get started and let, let's learn what is Ionic. So let's, uh, first of all, let's go through the knowledge etiquettes. So uh, first of all, punctuality, uh, always join the session five minutes prior to the session start time so that we can start and conclude the session on time. Then the feedback, make sure you are submitting uh, the feedback because it is very helpful for the presenter to improve or anything uh, for the next session. Then silent mode, uh, always keep your mobile devices on silent mode during the session so that we can conclude it uh, without any disturbance and and also avoid any unwanted chit chat during the session. So this will be the agenda that we will be covering today in the session. So first will be the introduction to INIC. We will understand what is INIC then how we can install and how we can create the Ionic project. Then it's framework compatibility. What all framework does the Ionic framework supports or the other libraries, what it support? So that we will check in the framework compatibility session. Then the components in Ionic, what all components uh, Ionic provides, and then we will move on to the demo session for it. Okay, so let's get started and understand what is Ionic. So Ionic framework, it is an open source UI toolkit for building performant, high quality mobile and web apps. So this is a single uh, framework like which allows you to build your application for both mobile and web apps. Okay, so it is built on focus on native performance and it allows uh, your developers to create cross platform apps with a single code base. Uh, why single code base? So we, like because it is supporting uh, our native Android, iOS and the web. So you can use the single code base for every platform in it. And uh, Ionic provides you the library for the predefined UI components, which we will go through in the session. So all these UI components are very easy to use and they are uh, very beautiful uh, by design. So we will have a look on them. And uh, alternatively, like uh, it can be used as a standalone without any front end framework. For suppose, like it is not necessary that you have to integrate with Angular, React, or Vue. You can use use it as alone only, without any framework. So, uh, like, what all are the features of Ionic? So, let us first go through like one code base, which will be running everywhere. So it is the only mobile app stack that enables the web developers to build app for all major app stores and mobile web from your single code base. And then moving on to its performance. So Ionic uh, behaves great on all the latest mobile devices and all the web frameworks. So performance wise also Ionic is really doing really, really great. And then it is clean, simple, and it has a functional design. So what do we understand by that? Uh, so in Ionic, uh, we have ready-made components, we have typography, and we have excellent base theme, which adapts to every platform that you are using. Then uh, another feature that it has native and web optimized. So uh, like uh, in Ang uh, Ionic, it uses capacitor uh, that is Cordova to deploy natively, and it also runs in the browser as a progressive web app. Now, what is a capacitor? So capacitor is a, a cross-platform app runtime. Uh, so it can make it easier for you to build your web apps, which can run natively in uh, iOS, Android, and web. And this capacitor, it is created and maintained by Ionic framework team only, and it is runs with the first web first approach. So it basically first targets the web and then the mobile devices. Uh, then we have this framework compatibility. So the past releases of Ionic, 
so what happened so the previous version of ionic were limited to angular only but uh, after the version 4 so it has targeted to uh, every framework every js framework be it react view or uh, angular so so version 4 was built keeping in mind to work it as a standalone web component library as well along with this uh, j- latest js frameworks so for every uh, like framework or the library we have different packages in ionic so for angular we have ionic/angular and for react we have ionic/react and for view we have ionic/view so we can install the corresponding packages in our application and then we can go ahead with our uh, development using those components or whatever you want to use it for and like what a uh, so ionic uh, is a cross platform which works on multiple platforms which is native ios android and web and also it is web standard based so what do you understand by web standard based so it uses the standard web technology so it is built on those standard web technologies which is html css and javascript then it has a beautiful design like we will go through the ionic components and you can see like uh, the designs are beautiful all the components are very easy to integrate with the new application and anyone with your web development skills can easily access it and it is open source as well so these were the features or the advantages that you can uh, leverage while using the ionic framework okay so moving on to the components in ionic so uh, like uh, in a, any web development application so we have components can anybody tell what is components okay no i'll go ahead then uh, so components are just the building blocks of your application okay so in ionic we have different uh, components we have Uh, like we have uh, buttons we have cards we have list forms so ionic pr- uh, framework provides a rich set of ui components that developers can leverage to create sleek and responsive mobile and web application uh, yes yeah. so one more point that we should keep in mind so all these uh, ionic components are responsive so that is also that uh, not you have to keep in mind while using this ionic framework so we will go through these some of the components in the ionic in the today's session in the demo and in the slides as well in the other slides now moving on to installing the application or oh, sorry installing ionic so before proceeding to it uh, there are two prerequisites like you must have node.js installed in your system and you should have a ionic uh, sorry npm installed now first of all Uh, we have to install the ionic cli with npm so you can use the npm install hyphen g at the rate ionic slash cli command to install the ionic cli now if you have any previous version of the ionic cli installed then you need to uninstall it because there has been a change in the package name so first of all you need to un- npm uninstall ionic and then you can reinstall via the npm install hyphen g ionic slash cli command so this will install the ionic in your uh, system and then we have this uh, ionic start command so this is used to create an application uh, on your system so once you run this ionic start command uh, then it will prompt you the project name so it will ask you like what project name you want to keep so you can uh, keep that and uh, after that it will ask you if you want any pre built template in your application so the template uh, the application that it will create uh, it will have that pre built template so by default uh, ionic provides three templates that is tabs side menu and blank so blank one will not have any uh, component in the created application side menu will have the side menu and if you are choosing tabs then it will create the tabs for you by default when you are creating the application now you can uh, that you can select by using the ionic start command and if you want to see what all tab templates you can use so you can just use the ionic start hyphen hyphen list command so that will list all the templates that you can use while uh, creating your application and if you want to just skip it you can just mention ionic start or uh, start then your app name for example if you want to 
like uh, keep it a uh, ionic app so you can I mention ionic start ionic app and then by giving a space you can just mention tabs so if you're mentioning it in the command only so it will uh, create the application with that particular name and with that pre-built template so that we can understand in the demo part how it uh, all will be done and to run that uh, ionic uh, application we can use the ionic serve command like when angular we have ng serve so for an ionic we have ionic serve command now that uh, if you are using a uh, with an angular application now we will have to install the ionic angular package for that like i just mentioned in the previous slides like we have react for react we have ionic slash react and for view we have ionic slash views so for angular we have ionic slash angular package so you need to just run this command in your application which is npm install ionic slash angular at the rate late, latest hyphen hyphen save so what will happen happen each time there is a new ionic framework release so that version will be upgraded in your application now uh, another case that we have if, if you are having already an existing angular project and you want to create uh, you want to add ionic to that one so you can use this ng add ionic slash angular command so this will add the ionic package to your existing angular application okay any questions till now am i audible yes yes you are audible no questions yes. oh. okay so let us continue so like we are now going to have look at for some of the inbuilt components that we have in ionic framework so first of all is the very basic uh, component which is ion button so here you can see uh, we have this uh, like you, uh, you must have been using bootstrap uh, so there what we do we just uh, use the classes over there but in ionic what we have we have different tags for it for example the first one in the example you can see it is iron button default then uh, closing tag for that so here we have the tags not the classes and uh, similarly if you want to add specific color to it that is also pre-provided by the ionic framework like we have primary secondary tertiary and for all these you can see the resultant button in the right hand side for success we have a green button for warning we have a yellow for danger we have a red and then for light medium dark and so on so these uh, these all tags are provided by ionic so similarly we have some other uh, properties as well if you want to change the button to round like the default one will have a small border radius. So if you want to change it, you can change it to round row as well. So that is the other properties that we can have it. And we will look, have a look uh, all to these in the demo. Then moving on to the iron card. So like, as you all know, what are cards? They are just containers that let you display some text or images in a specific card format over on your UI. So the uh, the iron card template in the ionic framework, it, uh, it is like we have the iron card tag with the iron card header. In the header also, we have some title and subtitle if you want that uh, as per your UI requirement. And then we have the card content. So this can uh, vary if you want to have an image as well in the card. So for that also, we have a uh, tag in it so that we can see in the demo part. Then moving on to the iron grid. So we know like we are using the grid system in CSS as well. So there we use the again the CSS properties like if we want to flex system. So we use a display flex. So similar to that, not, not we have it in the ionic. So here we are again using the tags for it. So we have iron grid tag. Then under that, we need to mention the iron row and then we can use iron call tag which will define the columns for you in the grid so each grid system as we know it is a 12 column grid layout so for suppose uh, we know like there's one row so each row will have 12 columns okay so 
the size property will help you to mention the size of that particular column. So if you want to take uh, the first column as size four, you need to mention it size four. Uh, and similarly, if you want three, so that we can do using the size property in the in these tags. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, all. So we can see all these them uh, like we have seen grid card and button. So let us have a look in the demo part for this. Uh, over to you, Paris. Yeah, Kiran, thank you. Uh, can I share my screen? You can go ahead. Yeah. So guys, moving forward to demo, but, uh, but uh, I want to inform you that all the things which we are showcasing in our demo are packed with predefined functionalities or feature we can say cross platform compatibility responsive design integration with angular reactor tool so those all components which we are using or we can say the predefined components in ionic which we are using are all packed with these four functionalities which i mentioned these all functionalities are also previously mentioned in our slide as well. So we can take a look. As we know, first we need to create a project. So to create a project, we need an Angular in our system. So I already just installed Angular. So I'm just checking my Angular version. So I, sorry, Angular and Ionic version. So I will go for Ionic version first. And then I, you can see that my system have Ionic version of 7.2.0. So now let's towards creating a project in Ionic. Uh, so I need to write a command that is Ionic start and our component name which we want to write. Like I'm just mentioning the component architecture. Component architect. Okay. And after that, we need to mention that blank tab tabs or sidebar, which Kiran mentioned in our slide. So I'm going just with tabs first. That's why we can, we are able to see something in our project when it gets started. So I need to just like just take Ionic and then I just pick a framework. So it just asking me to pick a framework which I want to use. That is, we can use Ionic in our all three projects which are mentioned here with Angular, with React, or with Vue. So I am going with Angular now. And after that, it will ask me to use the module. So we can use ng module or we can go with standalone if we want and use our other modules which we want in project when it was created. So I'm going with ng modules right now. So it is creating the project in Ionic to integrate the framework with Angular as well and using the ng modules. So the project is creating, it will take just a little bit of time. We need to. So right now it was starting up and creating a project. So anyone have any doubt till now? Anyone have any no. question? Like, uh, yep, yes, I. No, uh, nothing. Okay, okay. So just wait. It is creating. Yeah. So it found zero vulnerabilities in it and now creating. So. Yeah, so it is asked me to create Ionic account. So I'm just going with no here. I don't. So I think it the project is created. So I'm just going that my project is created or not. Like I'm seeing that my project is created or not. So I'm going with component architecture and moving to the directory. 
I'm in the project directly right now. So now I need to start the project. So I'm going to just run the project with a command that is Ionic search. So this is the command to serve the project to load the project in our local host and run it. So it is generating with ng module and using the node version 21.4.0, which is already installed in my laptop, or we can change it as we want. So now this app is loaded and open. So here we use tabs as a predefined option or a component. So here the tabs are loaded and made it in the project. So there are three tabs. So when you start a new application, it will showcase according to the uh, added like the sidebar tabs or you can create a blank project as well. So I added a tab while uh, creating the project. So it will showcasing me the tabs option like there are tab one you can see here. Secondly, the tab two you can see here. The tab three you can see here and it also just going to the UI components in the Ionic and you can explore it here. I'm just opening for you guys right now. We can uh, looking all these component, uh, looking some of these component in our uh, demo as well. So these all are the component which are predefined in Ionix. So you can go ahead and learn more about these. So moving next, like I already added some of the component in our project. We can do so in this as well, but I'm just moving to the different project because we have like I'm going to the other project in which I've already defined the components. So I'm moving to desktop like CD and then I'm going to the project component. Now, the same command which I used previously that is Ionic serve. So I'm using the same command to run this project as well. I'm using this project because I already defined some of the component which we need to showcase. So I'm just running the same command here as well. So it will also use Node.js version and load the project. So this is the same project as I this one, but having multiple predefined components. So I'm just opening the same in the code base as well. So we can elaborate more about that. Yeah, my screen uh, is visible to you guys. You are uh, able to see this. Yes, yes. Yep. Uh, I am able to see. I have just one query. Uh, how yep. we can use these predefined components that you just showed? Yeah, so we need to just write these components are already defined in Ionic. They are come with package, Ionic package in our project, and we just need to use. I will showcase you how we can use it in our Ionic project by one and just look at what are the some of the predefined components for we will take a look on the ui first and after that i will showcase you as well in the code base how these all are working how we can modify how we can apply our own style as well and and one more thing it will be better always to use predefined component because it will decrease our work function uh, work functionalities like uh, make the code more simpler and uh, because these components are already defined. So we will take a look first in the UI. So, so these are the some of the predefined component that in tab one, I already defined some of the uh, like buttons here. We, there are three different types of buttons like disable button, default or complete expanded button filled with shift. Give me a minute. Paras, you are on mute. Not yeah, hear yeah, you. Kiran, I know that there is a backward noise from. OK, OK.
yeah i think it will take long time so i will start so here you can see there are different uh, buttons that is default disable expanded default clear outline and different rounded button so these different button are already provided by ionic to us like we can use directly in our code base where we want to use these buttons have different functionalities like here is a clear button you can see a default one is the button with outline only it is the shape is button is rounded and we have also capable to add an image or an icon in the work button with text as well so the second is uh, the expanded one we can use completely expanded button we mentioned here and so this is the part of button the second tab we are looking with the cards like we can create cards that is also a predefined component this card has having text only in different manner like an heading or a subheading or a simple paragraph text we can also use span etc in our card the second pattern is that like we can use image as well and third one is we can use action button in it as well we can also add buttons in our cards like we used image here yeah the third one in this we have a grid system i presented three scenarios of the grid like in which we have only three blocks of grid the second one having six blocks of grid and the third one having 12 blocks of grid we can create only maximum 12 blocks of grid if we go higher these grid blocks are coming below this line like after 12 these coming below this and also this is mandatory to use maximum 12 grids you can distribute them as well in different pattern like in six of them and three of them as well so this is one of the case it is pre also predefined in ionic and the fourth one that is chips so chips are only the tags which we are using to adding some filter out or using some some something specific in our code be, in our project like here we can create a chip with a text having an user image or also an icon with the text so these all are predefined in ionic now looking to the code how these get defined uh paras can you also so, show the mobile view of that so that we can show yeah, that yeah sure sure can yeah sure so these are uh, yes i already mentioned that these are responsive in nature with the uh, devices which we are using so first of all we get the responsiveness only so i am on the screen size which is more than a laptop or we can go with a laptop only so these are completely responsive we can go smaller and smaller it will work accordingly it will not break out in any of the scenarios the, you can see here the block which we are using in the grid system are completely going down according to its size and all three are in same manner not one like one is getting small second is not getting small these are getting smaller in size according to the view of the page and make them comfortable to look perfect the second one is with the card as well like our image is getting positioning accordingly if we go smaller it will affect okay, yeah the action you can see here the action button is getting in pattern like if this screen size is more small it will go downwards and once the screen size will be capable to take it in a line it will come upwards the third one is with the buttons as well like if we go you can see the rounded button come across below the fill and shapes all buttons like if we go more the expanded button is getting smaller so these all functionality are predefined we are not doing anything just defining the predefined components in our project so we can go ahead with directly like if i want to use the iphone xr so it will look in that so all three are working if we go with a surface duo it will see we can also check with the samsung galaxy s8 or any other phone yeah galaxy fold it will also work so you can see that 
11 are in a row and the 12 one is expanded this is because the phone capability to get all 11 in a row and after that the 12 is in the next line so this is also working like the card you can see here and the button you can see here anyone have any doubt right now or i am going to moving on the code how we can use this okay silent means no so moving ahead like i'm going with the code like i already defined a tabs component in which we have three like first one we are going with the buttons only so these are iron button which we define i am just going to give me a minute like let me explain it to you better if i am able to yeah so here you can see that so these these are the buttons i defined so that is default one which i defined here so i am just using the iron button and using some word like default i can change it like i am going to the reset so it will affect so when i save this this page gets load or directly and the words get changed so it will get reset so i am just going with the same and now for the disable button we need to add a uh, tag of disable to make it true and if i remove this disable to true like i removed it so once i saved this button gets enabled and when i redefine it like and save it it will disable so to make a disable button we just need to use the iron button with the disable tag here the next one is the expanded so we need to use the expand block here to define expanded button if i remove this block and save the page the button gets default one like this and these are same now i am just saving it it will be a block this is a block and in block and full there is a difference you can see the edges here the edges are rounded and in the full the edges are not rounded so this is the one of the case i am just entering it so if i remove expanded here like the full one and save the application it will go to the default one like this so this will expand our two functionalities for the block one and the full one if i just remove full and place block here so what will it affect it will make the button rounded so it is the difference between these two expanded button so i'm just i take it full as well yeah so now it will go with the edges yeah. so the third one is fill and shape so here i define multiple the default button which i mentioned in reset as well the second one is the clear in which we have only the text to be seen no borders no color around it the third one is the outline only the outline button if i removed all this it will be on default that's why we are saying that these are predefined so we need to just modify accordingly which we want to use the solid one having the solid this is similar no these both are different the th uh, fifth one is rounded here so you can see directly on the ui as well the button is getting rounded from both the sides and there is no sharp edges in it so if i remove the shape as rounded okay so it will go into the default moving next so we can also enable the size for these button like we can use different sizes small default and large so these all three sizes are right written here to use in button these all are the features of this iron button which are predefined we i am not just uh, installing it comes with the package and i am just writing it here to make the button according to my scenario okay so the more about the buttons like we have also we can add like iron icon in these button this is predefined component as well like iron icon is a pre iron icon is a predefined component and we can use this in our button as well so if i remove this one you can see that the icon icon is getting removed from the part only the text will get so it will be a default button now when i just uncomment like just uncomment 
this part and if i save the application i think it will be load yeah so it will be loaded again we can use directly iron icon in the third case i mentioned that here as well like i am using the iron icon in the button so a button is created and in that part and only the icon is showing that is name is star that's so this is the button now moving towards the next page so i am going towards the tabs cards i think i am clear to you guys or you have any doubt you can mention it if you have any doubt right now we or we can go forward so i think silent is a no so moving towards the next that is the tab 2 in the tab 2 i am going to showcase you about the card so card is also a predefined component in the ionic so here we define the card in three different manners having a simple card here we have added a simple card having two things like predefined component that is card title and the subtitle these are also there are many lot of component which we are predefined in ionic so we don't need to create a new component for us every time to define a functionality to define anything in the component architecture view so here the ion card title is already here so if you can see that i just write it a title so if i removed it and save it the card title is removed if i undo it and save it it will affect it i can change anything i can change the color as well here and similarly for the subtitle this is one type of ion card like this and it also have some content in it i'm uh, just doing an yeah this is a content okay so here is a small text description so we can use different like if i want to use button here we can do as well like i am just defining ion button i am just defining an ion button okay so this this is a button and it is a default one the fa so this is a, just i'm just saving so a default button is created okay so if i go with a uh, color i'm just going with a color dark i think it will not work here i need to define sorry so it will get affected and it makes the color dark okay so we can define many of the things you can use predefined component in already a predefined in already predefined component okay so the second is the case for the images you can add an image like i mentioned here okay so i'm just directly adding an image having some margins padding so fun so was first i will change it here like i make it with the 10 pixel only to make the size smaller and just saving the image okay now i'm just saving so you can see here the image is getting small now i am just making it large to what it is so you can see the image is getting large but it comes across the card only it will not go beyond this card it will make its sides accordingly where the maximum size of the card defines so if i just going to the responsiveness it will showcase its maximum size only and if i go this so it will decrease its size but its margin padding must be there so we need to take in our mind that how to define this okay so i am just going with the ipad pro or just pixel 7 yeah so now in the code this is second case we have we have an image in our card and the third one is the action button so we have two type of action button having fill capacity to be clear we can change it accordingly we can make it dark or we can make it outline according to our functionality or our ui changes so these two are also the property we can use or component of button we can use in our card content or card so this is the second one a predefined component with a card and the third one the grid system and here we also define chips so i am just moving to the code in and just going to the tab 3 so here in the tab so we already define some of the grid 
So first one is the three. So it will make space accordingly. If like if I define define one more, so what will it do? So if I see changes, so it will make the grid accordingly. No more changes. Only the size of these grids are getting changed. When I remove two of them, what will happen? So it will be the same size in a row, but the block are getting bigger. So this is a part of grid which is already predefined in IMA. The same pattern we have defined of six, we have defined of 12. So here we have defined of 12. You can see it and here we define of six and here we define of two. So these are the grid system. Some, anyone have any doubt right now, like how these are behaving? OK, so like one more thing, how these are behaving. I'm just defining this. So how they are coming in a row, how these happen. So this all working with the row one. If I remove this, what going to happen? So I'm just saving it. So these are deflected, like these are coming in across a line. OK, so if I defining something here, like it's just adding. Okay, so I am just getting. Okay, so here is a the button. These are coming in a row. But if I added the back, it again, I just remove it and adding iron row. So you can see that it will showcase its effect. Okay, so it will showcase it. I need to close this tag as well. So it will showcase its effect and mark the grid system in a specific pattern, like all the blocks are on same size and these are coming across the center of the UI. So if I add more, it will uh, make itself comfortable with the proper pattern. Now moving towards the second one that is chips in this tab, that is a first one with a chip having like, yeah, the first one is an icon in it and the iron chip. Okay, and the second one here is an image with the label. So in this case, we have an image in an iron avatar and we have a label. So if I remove the label, we can see we have only an user image or we can see that it's come across an iron avatar and having an image for the user. So we can use avatar in the chip. So the same pattern is for the iron icon. We can use, if I remove this icon, the, we have a chip with the text only. So if I place it, it will affect it. So these are some of the predefined components. We can uh, use more of them in these as well, like if I want to add a button in a chip, we can do so. If we want to add an avatar and an icon as well, we can do so. So if I want to use this avatar, I'm just copying it in a chip. So what will it do? So it will go with this, like we have an avatar and after that an icon and this icon text in a complete chip. But all things are come across this, the upper level of its predefined components. No, no one going beyond this. Like if this moves out and this will uh, make it unresponsive, nothing will happen because these are already predefined come with the package. So it will make our work easier very well and we don't need to write more and more. So just one more thing in the code, like I have defined one more Explorer container. This is a not predefined component. This is defined by the user itself. So we can use these across all and all our HTML code, which we want to use it also working in the iron one. Like here I mentioned in the tab three. So I'm just using heading five. This is a simple HTML code. So it will work very well with the iron code. You can see these are iron call. These are iron chips, but I'm not using any other word like simple H H5, which is a heading five. So all our simple HTML are working in it no problem at all with ionic. So 
this is all about the predefined component we can take more about this if we go with the any company the ionic component so if you go to the components ionic framework ui on the documentation you can see there are more and more like we have we have checkbox chips which i mentioned have contents have date pickers so this is one of the beneficial so we have already a date picker in which we have different types of uh, functionalities to show date, uh, date and time in different patterns like an year you can see an example over here year with the month you can see example and with the year month and date and you can also add time so these all are predefined we don't need to define any of them from our own while making a functionality in our project or uh, completely doing a newly project so sahil i think i am clear to you like how we are uh, using uh, these components predefined in our code and how they are working Yes, sir. Or Thank you. Or anyone have any doubt? Yeah. Okay. So, anyone have any doubt right now, or we can go ahead. Like. Paris, uh, just a reminder that it's already five three now. So, yeah. so Bharti, we are done with the session. We're just asking for questions. Yeah. If they have any. All right, great. So, uh, anybody, uh, do we have any questions? Please don't forget that Kiran and Paras will also be spotlighting two of you. So, let's use this opportunity, guys. We can spend one more minute. Anyone? Any questions? Uh, great. Then uh, I think we are good to close the session now. Kiran Paras, I'm sorry yes. for the background noise. Yeah, no problem. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, guys. Thank you for joining the session. Or uh, if you are trying to write a project in Ionic, if you have any doubt, you can come across to us or you can check out any of the person in the front end competency it will be more helpful to us like doing more regression in these things more elaborating the different features of ionic so try it and thank you thanks kiran thanks paris for the wonderful session thank you everyone for joining in see you all next week